All right, so we've been bogged down with some pretty hefty questions. Now, this one is pretty easy to deal with. The statement is, a perfectly conducting spherical shell of radius A rotates about the z-axis with angular velocity omega. In a uniform magnetic field B, equal to B naught in the z-hat direction, calculate the EMF developed between the North Pole and the equator. Ooh. We'll actually see something like this in the next uh, chapter as well. Uh, the EMF was defined as by force density. Now, please get this concept in our heads that the force density is going to play a big, big role soon. So the EMF is equal to little f, which is the force per unit length, uh, dot dl, again closed, but we know that that is equal to v cross b, and uh, dl is equal to the dot product of r d theta at r equal a, theta hat direction. Um, this goes back to this factor calculus. Just know how to work with it. If not, then we'll go through a review again. Okay, but V was equal to omega A sine theta, again, because we're looking at some point above the horizontal, um, and A would be the radius, and then uh, sine theta is uh, telling us at what layer of the shell we're at. B was given, and then we're just left with uh, A dot, or A D theta, theta hat. Okay, uh, we see that omega A sine theta, or excuse me, Omega A squared B naught is all constant, so they go out the integral. Since we're looking for the northern hemisphere or the north pole to the equator, we're going from zero to pi over two, as our uh, angle would suggest. Now, what we need to do is find out what the heck the phi hat cross z hat dot with theta hat is, um, and we note that from the uh, from this rule, which we proved back in chapter one where some vector a dotted with b cross c is equal to c dot a cross b. And we use this because this is much easier to deal with when we consider that uh, z hat dotted with theta hat cross phi hat. Uh, the reason why is because theta cross phi hat in cylindrical coordinates uh, gives us the r hat component or the r hat vector. And with that, we know that r hat dotted with z hat, since r hat is composed of x, y, and z, with trig functions on it, thank you, change of variables, that's equal to cosine theta. Now we have a integral that's easy to deal with, uh, but be aware, be highly aware that these vector identities will come back with a vengeance very soon. And then just evaluate this integral, and we get 1 half omega a squared b naught. Pretty easy, but be aware, those vector identities are coming, I'm telling you.